Hello and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying a Manor Lord. I know that this uh, everyone and their dog has been singing the praises of this game, and I'm here to join the chorus. But uh, this game is awesome. That's you know the long and short of it. You don't really need me to tell you that, but uh, I'm going to tell you that anyway. I figured I'd start with the thing that um, everyone has been kind of um, heralding around first which is the the combat it's an interesting thing to me because to me uh this game um it, it, it seems to orbit a lot of other things primarily and the things i appreciate about it are actually uh not combative at all uh but it, it borrows from a lot of different genres it borrows a little bit from forex it borrows a very very small amount from crusader kings in terms of being a uh, kind of territorial management sim but uh yeah it's got some really cool combat in it in, in fact in, in a way the combat reminds me more of like total war than anything um we're gonna go ahead we're moving i've got a very small unit here you'll have to forgive me i'm not i'm not yet very competent at this game you're gonna find way way better uh youtubers out there that can tell you how, how better to play this game than than i but I have a established colony, if you want to call it that, a established settlement. And, uh, you know, I'm just kind of getting the ball rolling. And I'm being attacked by brigands, outlaws, and they seem to have big, nasty clubs. Now, my dudes do have uh, some spears. Actually, I have them running. I don't want to have them running, necessarily. And in fact, I don't want to have them moving at all, because they're going to be burning through a lot of energy. Let these guys burn their energy coming to me what we're gonna do is a uh, balanced default stance with no bonus and no penalties stand your ground defense is doubled but attack frequency is half let's try that and uh we'll see how that goes they are facing the wrong direction they were facing the wrong direction i noticed they uh they kind of changed direction there real suddenly let's also double them up they're spearmen so we'll see how this goes um i'm kind of hoping that they just conveniently walk right into them it looks like that's gonna happen i'll talk about a lot of the other systems uh in just a moment but uh this is this is definitely cool so let's start with the cool thing okay hold on whoa 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 They have shields too. I guess we have shields. We've got little, uh, we've got like tower shields. And I mean, uh, wait, very, yeah, let's, let's do this as well. Where are they? Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to lose them. I lost. Oh, there they are. You can roam around in this game, which is definitely novel. I have not seen that before. This is not looking very promising, I have to say. It's looking like complete chaos. Um, really hard to say who's winning here, but it doesn't look very good. Oh, yeah, that's the you, you don't you don't want to hear your uh, the enemy saying something like no prisoners. <laughs> Well, we're down to 14. We've killed uh, about six of them. They've killed six of us. That's actually really not good because they have like far, they far, far outnumber us. So yeah, this is, uh, this is not great, I will say. Why don't we try uh, push forward? See if uh, we gain any ground. I'm very new at combat here, so you'll have to forget. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. I mean, they are also taking a hit. I, I, I had half the numbers of theirs, so I understand. Not ideal. Effectiveness, 90%. They are... Um, they're not giving up just yet. Where, what are we at? Where, our morale is actually quite high. Corpse near recent losses, 75. Oh, God. Five of them left. 
I'm actually not even sure what happens when I lose this. Like, are they just going to come and torpedo our, uh, our homeland? Stay on your ground. Push forward. Stay on your ground. There's only three of you left. Come on, fight it. Fight it out. Come on, Craig. What? Can we, like, select some of these guys individually? There's only two of them left. This, is, this really didn't go well. They had clubs. You guys had spears. I feel like you had the technological advantage. There's only one left. Come on, bud. Alright. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> and, uh... They're coming to raise us to the ground. Recruits missing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, recruits missing. So we're, uh, I'm about to lose my village. So why don't I take the next 20 seconds to show you around before this place is raised. Um, <laughs> it's a, it's a really cool city builder. It's, uh, you know, kind of reminds me of Banished. Um, it, it is very like primitive, but not too primitive. It's like, if you are into things like vintage story, I think you'll appreciate this, but, uh, you have cool things like crop rotation i've got this i something i do a lot in this game is uh juggle people around because you want to kind of prioritize things but um this uh this field is in follow uh right now because i've already ha had it growing some wheat the previous year and you want to kind of make sure that your fields uh stay rich in nutrients so I went ahead and build and built another farmhouse over here. They're actually pretty much done for a couple of years. So then like, you know, I can, I can take some families out of that and cycle them to uh, somewhere where they're probably more uh, valuable, but you do want to kind of like spread out. You want to like build um, or construct, you know, sources of food. Are they coming? Are they, are they about to like destroy us? Where are they? I know I heard some sounds of violence. Goods, goods looted. No, my smithy. Oh, here they come. Oh God. Wow, they're they're actually raising. I was kidding. Yo, yo, I don't like this anymore. Stop burning my houses. I need those. People need those to live inside of. Oh no. Um, there's a lot of like little things to manage. Uh, I really appreciate honestly the the thing I enjoy the most about manor lords are the little attentions to, to detail that make this place feel like it's lived in. Uh, I have complained on numerous occasions with other kind of related semi city builders that you can't really do curved roads. This game does curved roads really well. Uh, not just like building the roads obviously but like also constructing around them is uh is handled very nicely so you can like you know have your marketplace your houses kind of hug the roads uh my marketplace is on fire actually oh all right well that's uh it's pretty good you know i'm sure you'll find a lot of people um showing off manor lords in a way that makes them seem very competent at the game so i guess this is at least a, an original take on the game yeah, they're they're about to burn my storehouse probably before they rob it. Yeah. Wow. Oh dang. <laughs> There's my church. I wonder if I'll get to keep my church. I just I just built this. I my my approval rating was actually getting pretty high. I had uh, quite a number of people. I was trying to figure out how to make weapons. Oh, I was going to click on my uh, smithy to try and figure that out. But it looks like uh, smithies can only make tools. But I'm not sure how to, like, actually unlock making weapons. But this is something I was working towards. Uh, I know I can make armor. You can make some armor, and, and that probably would have been a, a good idea. But, um... <laughs> I like how I can select my rubble. That's good. What did I do to deserve this? Why, why did they, why did they raise my town? Wow. Are they still burning my houses? <laughs> uh, I have a uh, generic storage is now 
helpful. Are, are these still brigands? Yeah, those are brigands. What are you guys burning my stuff down still? Is this like a, a pastime of theirs? Do they enjoy this? Are we godless? Is that what's up? Goods looted mining pit. I wonder if my families are being killed right now. Total population 44. Can we make a new army? Remove unit. Can we do like a spearman? Saving finished. Oh, thank God. Equipment missing. Well, I, I, I think I have some money. Um... Except I don't have enough money to hire any of these, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hire them. Okay. Sign the contract. They're going to be here probably by the time my town uh, burns down. But like, you know, uh, we're learning, you know, I'm, I'm learning things here. <laughs> have they left yet? You know, one thing I do appreciate is that at least the game's not over. Like, I could definitely recover from this. It sucks. Pantry is full. <laughs> rubble. <laughs> Why is that funny to me? My rubble is full. Are the brigands gone at least? Did they take off? I think they did. Yeah, I've got a, a nearby. Th those weren't even my. Yeah, they're they're taking off. Thank goodness. Those weren't even the uh, my neighboring kind of rivals. I'm uh, I'm right now. I'm I'm. I don't even like. I can't even. Uh, these are these are residents of Hildebolt, Hildebolt von Berenroot. Uh And this is an, a mechanic I've I have not seen all that often. Is a negotiation tree as a sort. It's like you can sort of select things to write down to them i can't write down anything here because uh you know we're not even like i don't even think i'm a i'm a i'm a threat to them so they don't acknowledge my my existence so currently um we don't have a lot of food we're gonna have to take some time to rebuild can we just like demolish these construction will be refunded refunded to what wait for burgage plots at least they didn't burn down the whole village. Oh, okay, hold on. Rebuild. I probably should have done that, huh? Okay, so this will take some time. Uh, fortunately, I mean, like, one thing I have been doing a lot of is um, stockpiling resources. It seems to be the one thing I'm good at. Uh, but, like, I wanted to make sure that when I was able to build up a military, I would have the necessary resources to uh to start building weapons i just haven't figured out that part of it yet um but it don't me it might not even matter because uh one thing i did is this rubble too oh wow they built down my <laughs> they burned down my trading post i was gonna say i could pot potentially trade for the weapons i need um but yeah they didn't belong to my rival they were just like some guys <laughs> But it's a, it's a good thing I have a, a bunch of resources to rebuild everything. Oh, actually, I don't have that much timber. I guess it all burned down. At least they didn't bur build, uh, burn down my windmill. Oh, okay. No, it's I don't have any timber right now because I, I've i just used it all. That's a lot of tim timber I just used up. But yeah, this is a game you're like... There's going to be a lot of satisfaction in how you build up your town. And I mean, like, honestly, I, I'm already thinking of, like, restarting. Not that I couldn't, like, build this up. I think that this is very, very salvageable. But, uh, like, you know, how you plan out your roads is, is really satisfying. Um, how you kind of plan out your villages. Things relate to each other in a very interesting way. Like, obviously, resources take time to uh, get from one place to another. You can see that the oxen are, like being used to carry uh logs and stuff to their related construction points but uh so you know like where you build things relate very much so like your town has kind of a flow uh, i've kind of made this like central area here like uh, a workshop area where i build a lot of my construction like saw pit 
uh blue marie pack station and then like you know you you your mining is obviously going to be uh dictated by like where the veins are so i've placed my um this is a burgage where is my smithy my smithy's right there yeah so that's kind of like the natural uh resources kind of like dictate the flow of the village but i mean obviously you're gonna be expanding so like things are going to build on top of each other there's only one place right now where i have wild animals and i have my hunting camp nearby where is that where is oh they burnt it down <laughs> i'm detecting a theme um these people will wait for more burgage plots causes a loss of approval well i'm building those aren't those burgage plots rebuilt what's the deal homelessness i guess i no i have 19 spaces and i have 19 families i mean i can i can just build some more burgages let's have a look at that let's look at like actually constructing something and not just the burning down of my village um, I have like set aside this straight road here for the specific purpose of uh, building some more plots. Actually, I do find uh, yeah that you want to build the straightaway first. So I'm I'm gonna build this out like that. And this is oh not enough goods. I can place it down for now. I think can I? It won't let me. It won't let me place it down now. I was kind of hoping I could place it and then uh, it, it would just get supplied. Oh, yeah, it, it, I think it worked out that way. It'll get supplied uh, when we actually have the resources. Nope, doesn't look like it, that is the case. That's fine. We'll wait for some more resources. One thing I, uh, I did learn the hard way is you do want to go to a, the advanced tab for logging camp and like actually dictate where uh, where they're cutting things down. So like, let's do that. Mercenary company paid brigands. Oh, cool. Uh, so we have our brigands. Yeah, we do. You guys are late. <laughs> Where are they? Well, I, I don't know. Let's make use of you. There is a uh, bandit camp nearby. Let's uh, get you guys to take them out. These are... What are they? brigands they're just brigands i think they just have clubs and they just brig you know they brig and i don't know what else they do next payment in 26 days so we have them for 26 days we could definitely do i should have hired them before um we took them out but we will profit i think the nice thing about honestly the nice thing about having our town raised <laughs> if there is a nice thing about that is uh we only lose resources we don't actually lose any money as far as i can tell unless they did rob us as well which you know would make sense let's take out this bandit camp out of pure rage spread out that's what they are right now no we want them in formation that is their formation okay let's just like take this out where are the bandits are they just gone yeah, they're just gone. Okay, so we got some stuff. This belongs to our treasury now, so we got ourselves some money. There's another bandit camp nearby. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, wait, that's not a bandit camp. That's a stone resource. You can you can understand why I would think that it was a, a bandit camp. It looks somewhat similar. But those bandit camps have actually been kind of a blight on me for a while. They've been... Uh, yeah, they've been they've been stealing my resources and, and just being a general nuisance Are we still are people still homeless? Doesn't seem like it. I am gonna have to build some more burgage plots anyway I actually would really like to take this uh, Territory because we've got some nice berry deposits here some more animals. We got some more food uh, Let's fast forward time They don't uh, I don't think we have horses yet I don't know if uh, horse combat is in this game yet, but the game is still very early in its, um, you know, development. One guy, as I understand, I don't know if he outsourced some of this because, like, the animations are incredible. Like, this is a monumental amount of work. But I am looking forward to seeing uh, how this game is developed. New family uh, moved in. That's nice. 
So let's uh, take this bandit camp. Any resources? Some resources. We do want to take our get our money. Um, I think we could disband them. I don't know if we could. Well, we could get them uh, to take this other brigand, this other mercenary camp. So that's a bit more money. You need some money for various things. There's some things that you can only build with money that you can't build with just raw resources. Um, one of those things is a manor. So, you know, maybe huh, we could end this episode on a episode this uh, video on a highlight and I could build my manor. Let's just, uh, let's actually see what that looks like while we wait for the brigands to make their way over. This is how many days. Uh, I don't really want to have to pay them again. So let's see what the manor looks like. Administration manor. Okay. Oh, you know what? We only need, um, stone. We could actually get this built now. Wow. That is a pretty small manor. I guess it's comparable to our burgage plots. I'm going to put it near, uh, ish to our church. You know, because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm closer to God or something like that. I don't know. Castle planner. Oh, this, this is new. This is a work in progress feature here. You can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction. Actually, you know what? If that's the case, um, I don't, I don't want to do that just yet. I want to have my own like road. You can demolish that. Yeah, demolish. Okay, so let's. Here's our, here's our church. And actually, this isn't a bad place to put. Yeah, let's put it at the end of this. This seems like a really good place for it. One thing I have noticed is you, I don't think you can, like, get rid of roads, which is a very European style of thinking, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Nus, Nus law is being claimed. Okay. I am very much uh, losing this game. Okay, so... We've got walls and gates. I want to I want to build a cool wall. Oh wow, we can do curved uh curved walls on that as well. We have outer towers, garrison tower, tax office. All right, let's do a tax office first of all. Very important. You want to have a tax office. And I want to have it like you know, close to the, close to the road. Funny that that doesn't snap to the road. I don't know, like, how... Well, let's just, let's just do this. I wonder, like, can we, can we build outside the circle? Too far. Okay, yeah, no, you can't. Okay, so we want to do, like, something like this. I actually kind of want to have square walls. Nah, let's do curved walls. Heck it, you know? Oh, that's cool. It builds a little uh, watchtower on the road. I love that. Okay, let's uh, do something like this. That's pretty good. I like that. Connect them up. Uh, we can do some towers. So we'll do something like this. Oh, that extends the range. Wow. You know what this game kind of reminds me of? This is going to sound like a put down. I really don't mean it like this, like that at all. But let me just say the full thing before you judge what I'm about to say. Kind of reminds me of Spore in that um, the, the actual mechanics are like, they're good. The actual gameplay is good. It's not i wouldn't say that's where the the most the biggest innovation in in this game i would say that the biggest innovation in this game is actually in its customization tools and one thing that really comes to my mind when i think of a game with amazing customization tools but like not necessarily super novel gameplay is spore uh just in like how you built cities how you built spaceships um how you like even like edited the architecture of like what your uh what your creatures would do or how they would build it reminds me of that in in some ways there's amazing customization options here in how you build up your town um the way the town kind of relates to itself like the logistics of the town isn't necessarily uh like 
the it's it's good but i don't think it's like it's not something we haven't seen before but i i do really appreciate i do think that um something that a lot of city builders kind of miss uh is that you know a town isn't just a spreadsheet it's not uh just like logistics it's not just like bring this thing here and and you know um you know make that stockpile and this and that it's it is people and i like little things like how the roads expand when they're like used more like this is this this road here is like one of the biggest tra travel spots in my whole town and the game recognizes that and widens it because it's worn out uh the game has a great sense of like desire lines where people will kind of like cut corners and so those spots will kind of wear down a bit a bit faster and um i also think that the game does a very good job of like generating a interesting natural landscape are you kidding me oh oh this is i thought this was an enemy uh brigands but it's just my brigands they're still making their way over um we have to pay them in three days you know what you guys missed it sorry disband looks like uh my rival is <laughs> it's just about claims the entire map i have not been very fast about that but uh, i also think that this game shines in that um it's not really about like it, it's not a civilization in that you like really should rush down the enemy and and you know any territory that you've lost is is you losing the game um it's very expensive to expand in this game it costs quite a little, lot of money and so you are going to want to uh you actually claiming it from your enemy is is cheaper in some ways i don't know why people are homeless right now not enough supplies yeah i mean that's a problem for sure okay is this forestry hut good okay let's get some berries that's gonna be a good thing um i think these farms are are they grown? No, they're not at all. I think we're in the second year. I mean, I, I, at this point, I could keep a couple of families on that farm point permanently. Um, we are going to want to re, yeah, like put someone on the saw pits. We're going to want to re-employ everyone that got kicked out of their house via, uh, you know, fire. Hitching post. I don't really have anyone managing the hitching post. We could do that. But like a family is quite valuable. They, you know, a family can can always be doing something. Uh oh, what about the granary? You want to have yeah, you want to have someone managing the granary. You want to have someone managing the storehouse. Those things are really important and they're very easy to overlook. I think we're okay. I'm not sure if we are still lacking some houses. I think we are still lacking some houses because I actually didn't even build those houses because I was lacking the materials. So let's go ahead and build some more houses. Well, one thing we can do is actually decrease the number of houses being built there. Um, and that, like, it's less efficient use of space, but it does mean that we can build right away and use up our wood. These trees got cut down, I believe. So where's our uh, our logging camp? Policies unlocked. Click on the taxes tab after selecting your manor to set levels of taxation. I have heard and I have read that you want to be very careful about that. You don't want to tax your people too heavily, too quickly. So let's uh, start cutting down those trees over there. Game does kind of remind me of uh, Against the Storm. I mean, Against the Storm is also a city builder, but just like certain quality of life features uh, from that game seem to have been uh, carried over into this or adopted by this game. Also, uh, both published by Hooded Horse. Hooded Horse have just been like knocking it out of the part with like their, they're just like, they seem to be publishing like every major and fantastic like city builder. Uh, some really cool space games. I'm really looking forward to covering some of those. I like it just kind of astounds me like they they seem to be they have their finger in like every single amazing pie as far as I can tell like there's some really incredible games being published by them and 
Um, Manor Lords has like taken off like a rocket. I'm seeing so many people talk about it and for a good reason. It's just a very pleasant game to hang out in. It's like every part of it is executed very well. I love the music. I love, I love this. Like, how can you not love this? This is just really cool. It's, it is kind of janky. I'm not going to lie. It's, but the fact that it is here at all, it astounds me. I have, I, I've actually seen people use this game as a basis to like build um, towns for their TTRPGs. I think I might actually do that as well because it like, I, I kind of love how inefficient I've built this town. It's got character. And like when you zoom out a bit, I don't know if I've like um, got some of the settings turned down. I've got everything cranked up actually. Um, is there... No, I was I was wondering if there was um, that uh, one camera design where it basically fades out. I, I'm kind of glad it doesn't do that. But like, if I if I took a screenshot of this, I do think this game needs a camera mode. Like, just get rid of the UI basically, or even like, you know what? You know what would be next level? Oh man, if if the developer, there's zero chance he's watching this. If he wants to score some major brownie points, um, have a have a filter that you could apply to the camera mode where it makes a sketch drawing of the whole thing, just like parchment, paper, and ink. That would be incredible. That would be stupidly cool. And then you could have uh, you could just like export that as a PNG, and then have people like start like writing down little notes and like okay here's here's the smithy and it's owned by this npc and stuff like i definitely see a lot of carryover because this game it, it definitely inspires just the look and feel of it 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 makes you want to kind of i don't know get involved in the creative process with this it feels uh it feels alive and i think that's what's inspiring so many people Every little nook and cranny, it was just like the way the, the trees kind of blend together, the way you can see the ones that have been chopped down, like you've had some control in that. And I had to like, you know, tell them, stop chopping down these trees over here. That's why I started telling them like, hey, get over here because uh, the berry deposit was like, hey, it's it's diminishing because of your de deforestation. You really need to cut that out. So that's really cool um the way you build roads the way things relate to each other is just like it, it's it's very intelligent this mining pit is almost completely exhausted upgrade to a deep mine what does that do i wonder no rich deposit underneath we do have a tech tree i don't know what i need to do to get to the next tree we also have policies. I haven't actually done this. Wild hunt animals on rich deposits breed twice as fast. I could have one policy. Is there fishing that I haven't even like started doing? Citizen skip every fifth meal reduces food consumption, decreases approval. Hmm. Locked in early access, so these things will be, you know, worked on in the future. And uh, I guess we have nothing in production as well. Um, I, I got into beekeeping. I just love, you know, apiaries and like beekeeping in any game. Actually, now that I think about it, I haven't actually put any assigned any people to these apiaries, so they've just been sitting there. You can only have like two, um, which I think is is accurate to real life because you know you only have a certain population of bees in the local wildlife, so like you can only really sustain that much. One thing that I am concerned about, are they, yes, they are actually uh, tilling these fields. So like, yeah, I set like, oh wait, are they tilling this one? Thought I set it to, they shouldn't be tilling this one. I might like to see some better, um, just like a visual of like how these fields are being managed because it's a little confusing. Like it shows like first, second and third year. And like, yeah, you want to have, uh, you kind of want to space it out so that the fields, fields stay uh, nutrient rich, but like need needed for construction, right? We are, uh, 
we have everyone assigned and so therefore we're not getting anything done let's take someone off of windmill for now we could take someone off the oven as well i suppose people working on my manor let's get a couple of fuel reserves up there i think they are uh they are building it up i believe it, you want to have your manor built uh fairly far-ish away from the village it is a point of luxury and therefore it should have its own space to breathe um So, yeah, I think that's, like, that's kind of as much as I should or can show of Manor Lords for now. I think it's a game I will come back to um, and do more videos with. Maybe I'll even show off some of the stuff I've done with the, my TTRPGs, like, you know, my own campaigns. Um, but, like, there, there's, uh, there's going to be so many YouTubers doing, like, uh, a series of this game. I don't know if I want to just yet. I think I want to let it have a bit more time in the oven uh, just to see how the development process goes. I'm also, also, uh, I'm, I'm doing RimWorld, which is related similarly, but not, I mean, I know it's not the, the very, it's not the same game for sure. This is not really a colony sim. It's more like a village city builder, um, but they, they do definitely have some overlap. So I don't want to uh, overreach on that. But this is this is such a beautiful game, and I, I'm very grateful I got to spend some time in it and show it off to you. Um, if you did enjoy this, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And um, yeah, rip rip uh, half my town. That was pretty good. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.